uh, there, I had some business uh, to deal with uh, with the department chair. Okay, so okay. Um, So, how do we deal with that? Uh, this uh, window query, okay, uh, of the first type, okay. In other words, I mean, in the case when at least one of the endpoint is uh, inside of the, the the window region, okay. So, um, um, if you try to, you know, uh, um, consider the endpoints, okay. All these endpoints, two n endpoints only, okay, and uh, you have arbitrary rectangle region, okay, to query if uh, uh, these two n endpoints, okay, any of these two n endpoints, for inside of uh, this window, okay, well, isn't this problem identical to the range query? What is range query? Given a set of points, you want to use, you want to have, I mean, have an arbitrary rectangle. You want to report like a, a point inside arbitrary rectangle, right? Okay, and uh, if you consider only the endpoints, then this problem is pretty much identical to the range to the, the range query. So, okay, obvious, obviously we can, you know, make use of the range query solution here. Okay, I mean, uh, the in the I mean in the range query chapter we talk about two different uh, 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 approach. One is KD tree, one is range tree, right? So, which one is faster? Do you guys still remember? Which one is faster? Huh? Range tree is faster, right? Okay. Range tree we use uh, more storage space to exchange for faster, uh, you know, uh, com computation time, right? A, a query time. Okay. So. Okay. So let S be a set of n axis parallel line segments in the plane. The segments that have at least one endpoint inside axis parallel query window W can be reported in big O log n plus k time. You can see that obviously this is uh, you know output sensitive algorithm, right? Okay, where okay uh, and the data structure that use big O n log n storage and the preprocessing time where k is the number of reported segments. Okay, um, if, you, if you go back to the range query, uh, uh, sorry, range tree, okay, uh, you will see that, okay, well you can, I mean, this, this, this uh, uh, kind of complexity is a little bit lower than what we discussed uh, uh, in, the, in that uh, uh, range query chapter. The reason is because, okay, here, okay, uh, we assume uh, uh, um, a technique called fractional cascading, okay. Uh, this, if you apply this fractional cascading, okay, then uh, uh, the time complexity is uh, just log n, so which is pretty good. If I remember, this is, a, I think it's a log, log, uh, log n square, something like that, okay. Um, but uh, but if you use fractional cascading, I mean this one will uh, fur, will be further reduced to log n plus k. Okay, but um, we didn't cover this. Okay, because for the similar reason that we didn't talk, we were not we didn't talk about the proof of the time complexity for the um, for the, the the chapter we just discussed. Okay, um, this fractional cascading is also you know one of the advanced Sec, uh, 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 chopped, uh, section, okay, uh, uh, um, in, the, in the range query chapter, okay. So for those of you interested in this fractional cascading, I mean, you can check out that uh, chapter, okay, the, the, the asterisk uh, uh, 
uh, section after the, 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 the sections that we, we, we discuss. Okay, there's a cascading, uh, fractional cascading ch uh, section that you can, I mean, in there you can then this uh, technique that can further reduce the query complexity. Okay, but, uh, but, okay, but how about the segments that do not have an endpoint inside the query window? Okay, as I said, like, uh, okay, uh, uh, this, the previous one deal with the first two cases. I mean, depending on how you define this, uh, the boundary, then uh, it also partially deal with this. But uh, if you have, uh, you have, uh, you know, a segment that, you know, that intersect the boundary twice, obviously um, the endpoints of such a segment are not inside the query window, right? So, so how how do we deal with them? Okay. So, from this point on, we are going to discuss another data structure. Okay, this data structure is kind of also very interesting. Okay, okay. So we will pre-process a set. S of horizontal line segments in the plane such that the segments intersecting a vertical query segment can be reported efficiently. So we will further simplify the original problem into this one. Well, remember that, remember that, okay, we only have axis parallel segments, right? So either we have, I mean, the segment will be either horizontal or vertical, right? We only have these two types, right? We only have these two types. So, okay, so let's focus on one, one of these two types, okay? The horizontal ones, the horizontal segments, okay? And, uh, and we consider uh, the, 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 I mean, this, this type, and uh, obviously, I mean, uh, uh, the other type, which is vertical ones, the vertical segments will be uh, basically uh, will be cons will, can be solved using the same technique. So let's just deal with horizontal segment first. Okay. So and uh, and so we, we first like, only deal with one type of segment. Second, okay. Second, instead of using a window query, instead of using a window for query. We now use a, a, a vertical line to query. Okay, a, a, a infinite vertical line for query. Okay, this again is a simplification, right? Because original is a window, right? Now we use um, use a straight line, straight vertical line. Okay, this, this is uh, uh, obviously like a. a um, uh, easier, okay, you could say that. I mean, then the one that we dis deal with, okay, so you can see this one deal with these two types, okay, this one or this one. Okay, if uh, the endpoint uh, uh, for on the boundary, then it will be, this, it, can be it can be solved by this uh, 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 range tree, okay, so we, we don't discuss that, but uh, if um, if, I mean, so for the case that like two endpoints are outside of the window, I mean, one, one, one case is like this, another case is like this, okay? So, then, okay, so we can see a simplified version where the query, query segment is a full line, okay, like this. So this is QX, this is a query line, L. Okay, x equal to qx. It denotes the query line. Okay, and uh, a horizontal segment. Okay, like this, x y to x prime y. Okay, because it's horizontal, so y stays the same, but uh, the range is from, is, will, it will be from x to x prime. Okay, so it it will be intersected by the l. If and only if, okay, qx is in between x and x prime, right? This should be very obvious, right? 
Okay. So think about this. Okay, because this line is an infinite line. Okay, and uh, uh, this segment. Okay, basically. Okay, because this line, this query line is infinite uh, long. So this segment doesn't matter the y value, right? The y value doesn't matter because obviously, okay, uh, this segment is intersected with that L. If the only if you can see, we only care about the x coordinate values, right? So, so that is why, okay, we can sort of, you know, reduce this problem to one dimensional. Okay? We reduce the problem into one dimensional. Okay. So so now, okay, we try to, you know, consider all the horizontal segments. But now, okay, we don't we don't need to worry about the y value. So so we, we only consider the x value. So it's gonna be x1, x1 prime, x2, x pro prime, blah 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 to xn, xn prime. So we have n set of close intervals on the real line. They actually originally they represent the segments. Okay, the the horizontal segment. I mean maybe they have different y uh, uh, different heights. But uh, well because now because our query line is uh, is is uh, is a straight line, okay so so we can sort of reduce them into like uh, the close intervals on the real line. It doesn't, I mean, it, it will be equivalent anyway, okay? So that, so, so in, now it's the interesting part, okay? We are trying to use the idea of binary search here, okay? We are trying to use the idea of binary search, okay? Here we have two, two n endpoints, right? We have two n endpoints. Because we have n segments, right? N n close uh, uh, intervals, right? So for each close interval, we have two n points, right? So we have n intervals. So we have two n n points, right? All of these two n n points, uh, we try to find the median of them. Okay, let's call that uh, 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 you know uh, median as x mid. Okay. This x mid obviously is one endpoint, right? Okay, it is either the left endpoint or y endpoint. Uh, sorry, the left endpoint or, or right endpoint of a sec uh, of a uh, uh, interval, right? But it doesn't matter. Okay, we don't care. It's left endpoint or y endpoint. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's a it's a it's a it's a uh, medium of those two n interval endpoints. So. If the query value qx lies to the left of x mid, okay, so say this is the x mid, okay, we have a couple of uh, line segment, and assume this is the endpoint that happen to be the, the, the median of all the endpoints, okay, we call that x mid, okay, so if the if the uh, uh, um, uh, the query value qx lie to the left of x mid somewhere here, somewhere here, okay. Then the intervals that lies completely to the right of x mid obviously do not contain qx, right? For example, this this segment, this interval that fall completely to the right of x mid. They will not be, they, they have no chance to overlap, to, be, to, to intersect with this uh, query, right? 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 Okay. Same thing apply. Okay, Sim, I mean similar concept apply. If the query point is on the right right of the x mid, right side of x mid. Then the segment fall completely on the left side of x mid, like uh, this these two segments. 
that these two regions, uh, these two intervals, I'm sorry, these two intervals, has no chance to, 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 to overlap with that uh, query line, right? Right? So according to this concept, we can sort of, you know, divide, we can sort of divide the interval into three sets, into three sets. The first set, the first set will be the segments that, you know, that, that uh, you know, uh, the, the, this x meet, you know, will go, will, will inter, inter, intersect, with, intersect with, okay? You can see these three segments, they intersect with this x meet, right? Okay, it doesn't matter, okay, where it is. I mean, it, 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 it me include this, uh, the segment that, that uh, contribute to this, uh, 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 this x meet. Okay, contribute, I mean, x meet is one of the endpoints. Okay, in, this segment will be included in the, it, we call this uh, set as i meet. Okay, i stands for the intervals. Okay, and uh, the segments that fall completely to the left of x meet like this. We call them I left. The segment that fall completely to the right of x meet, we call them I right. Okay? So So this one, okay, can be used to construct, this concept can be used to construct a data structure similar to the binary search tree. Okay, we will, we will treat the, the, this I meet as one node. Okay, the, the, the nodes, the, the, the interval in the I left Okay, we will form the left subtree. Okay, the interval in the right, I right, will form the right subtree. Okay, and the I left and the I right, the, the left subtree and right subtree, construction principle will be exactly just like what we are doing now. Okay, uh, basically, okay, uh, uh, um, for all the segments, Okay, here, okay, we again, uh, uh, we find, uh, we, we find, we, we get all the endpoints, and then we find the median of these endpoints, and then we will further divide this uh, set, this I left into two, uh, three different sets, okay, something like that, and same thing apply for this one, okay. So, so we already know, okay, if uh, the line, if the query line, okay, if the query line fall to the left of the I meet, uh, X meet, I'm sorry, fall to the left of X meet, we don't worry about the right subtree, right? If the query, query line fall to the left of the X meet, we don't need to worry about the uh, I left, right, right subtree, uh, left subtree, right? But uh, so obviously, okay, if we fall on the left, we need to deal with this thing, right? Okay, we need to continue, uh, you know, I mean, in the, in the, in the, in the process, I mean, in the query process, continue to query this uh, left subtree. But, but, how about the I meet? I mean, think about this. I meet contain the intervals that this x meet, you know, that, that contain this x meet, right? But uh, obviously, I mean, there are some, there will be some segments that also has like a, some part on the left of the x meet, right? So say like if the, if the intervals happen to fall like this, then you need to report this one too, right? So, 
So when you do the query, okay, you know, uh, 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 you, when after one comparison, okay, of the query point to the X meet, you know, one subtree to get rid of. But you need to deal with not only the I mean, one of the subtree, but also the the this uh, this uh, root. But, right? So, so how do we deal with this? Okay. So the interval that contains uh, x mid r in i mid, we know that, right? So um, the easy way is that okay because we have some intervals that are stored in the uh, in this uh, I meet uh, uh, easy way I mean is that you compare like uh, QX with every interval right to see if the it is interval needs to be reported but but this approach is still considered too slow okay it's considered too slow so we, what we could do is, okay, I mean, or, I mean, we can store it on both subtrees, okay, like this. Um, so, because like, uh, uh, you know, in other words, like, uh, we, we, for the I meet, okay, not only we put it here, we, we put it in the left subtree and the right subtree, two. Okay, so in other words, like uh, here, these intervals not only appear here, but uh, it actually appear all these three segments uh, interval will appear in the I left and I right. This is like a, you know, a one way to do it, but uh, it is too expensive. We will spend a lot of storage space, okay, for that. Okay, because obviously you are you are going to create like multiple copies for one interval. Okay, because this is not like you are just going to make one copy. Because, for example, say consider this this segment. When you copy this on both both left subtree and right right subtree, when this left subtree and right subtree, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, break into break further, then this this segment may be copied further, right? So in the worst case, a segment may be copied to all the 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 the, the, the leaf nodes, right? So that's too expensive. That's too expensive. So that's not that's why we we don't consider this is a good solution. So what we do is we can store it separately. We we'll put it like this. But the uh, how do we query the uh, interval in the I meet? Okay, with QX. Okay, we know all segments in I meet contain X meet. That that one we know. That one we know. Okay, so does this fact help us to have a faster query? It turns out to be yes. It can help us. Okay, why? Okay, suppose QX is smaller than X meet. Okay, QX is smaller than X meet. And the QX is contained in a particular read, uh, uh, interval, okay, in the I meet. If and only if, okay, QX is greater or equal to the left endpoint. Okay. I'm sorry. This I made a mistake. This is uh, this should be XJ. This is XJ. Okay. So it's like this. This is X meet. So we know this interval contain X meet, right? So if Q and we know Qx is smaller than X meet, 
So the Qx, if, if we know the left endpoint is smaller than Qx, smaller or equal to Qx, then we know this segment contains Qx, right? We only need to do one comparison, right? Okay, so with this idea, okay, we can sort of, okay, store the intervals in a list ordered on the increasing left endpoint, like this. So the segment in, you know, will be stored in the increasing left endpoint. Okay, and then, okay, if the first one, okay, the left endpoint is smaller than Qx, we report this one. If the second one, the left endpoint is smaller than Qx, we report this one. The third one, the endpoint, the left endpoint is, is bigger than Qx, well, we stop checking the rest of the segment. Right? We can stop checking the, left, the rest of the, sec, uh, the uh, uh, intervals. Because obviously, I mean, this one is not, if this one does, does not include Qx, the rest of them will not include Qx. Right? So this is the case when Qx is smaller than x mid, right? This is the case when Q, uh, Qx is smaller than x mid. So the case when Qx greater than x mid, okay, is similar. Okay, we need to sort. We need to sort the right at this segment in the according to the uh, in the decreasing order of the right endpoint. Okay, and then, okay, and then do a checking, okay, just do comparison, okay, if certain uh, interval, okay, doesn't, in, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, does not include Qx, the rest of them will not include Qx either, I mean, I mean, so, so that's like uh, how we deal with the I meet. So, based on this discussion, you know that, okay, we need to, We need to, you know, have uh, L left and L right. We have to store the segments in the I meet in two lists. The first list, okay, will be sorted according to their left endpoint. The second one, okay, L right will be sorted according to their right endpoint. Okay, so the, the, first case, the first one we deal with Qx more than x mid. The second one we deal with Qx greater than x mid. The case when Qx equal to x mid, that's very easy. Okay, we just report all the interval in the i mid. That's it. Because all the interval in the i mid in the content uh, um, x mid anyway, right? So far, so good, right? So we need to store the I mean set twice, right? Yes. One for this order and one. Yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, we, we do need to store it twice, but just twice. Just two times, right? The, the previous case, okay, if you put it on both subtrees, then because the subtree will, will branch further, right? So you, you, you risk the chance that a, 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 um interval may be stored many, many times, not just twice. But in this, in this approach, okay, yes, one interval there will, will be stored twice. Yes, yes, but just twice, right? No, no more than twice, right? So that, which is still acceptable, okay? So, we, this is the data structure. This data structure is called the interval tree. Interval tree, okay? In which the query, is, it, the query is the point, and the, the, the one that's stored in the this data structure are the intervals, okay? So, okay, first, if the interval set, okay, is empty, then the interval tree is a leaf node. 
So leaf node, in the leaf node, the, the interval, uh, uh, the set of interval is empty. Okay. Otherwise, okay, we let x mid be the median of the endpoints of the interval. Okay, and uh, the i left to be defined to be the the second the, the interval that fall completely to the left of the x mid. So obviously x j prime will be smaller than x mid, so that the whole interval will be on the left of the x mid. And the i i right will be the interval that fall completely to the the x mid. Okay, uh, so in that case the x j will be greater than the x mid. Okay. Then, okay, the rest of them, okay, the rest of the interval, okay, uh, 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 the, the x mid basically uh, will, be con will be contained in the interval. Okay, we call that uh, set as i mid. So we have i left, i right, and i mid. So the root is i mid. The left, uh, well, left sub subtree is uh, the i left. The right subtree is i right. So here, okay, in the in the in the in the in the uh, root, okay, we because the root may store more than one uh, segment, right? So we will further, okay, store these segments in two lists, okay. The first, uh, the we call that list left, L left, and L right. L left will be sorted, uh, in the L left, the segments will be sorted according to their left endpoint. The L right, the same set of uh, seg segments will be sorted according to their right endpoint. Okay? So far, so good, right? Okay, and uh, and you will deal with the left subtree and the right subtree recursively in the same manner. In the same manner. So this is the example. Okay, in this example, we actually have uh, well seven intervals. We have seven intervals, and this is the the medium, okay, uh, the first medium. So this median, okay, uh, we have three intervals, S3, X4, and S5, okay? So, well, it's going to be something like this. And uh, the left, I left will contain S1, S2. I right will contain S6 and S7. And uh, uh, the, the right, right endpoint of S2 will be used as the the x mid here, okay, and which will break the this uh, further, okay, to left subtree and right subtree. Well, but actually left subtree, right subtree, because because this s the right endpoint of s two actually will uh, uh, intersect both of the the segment here. So left subtree is empty, right subtree is empty. So they are leaf nodes here, and uh, we will store this s one s two. Here, like uh, you know, in the in the L left and L right, okay. Same thing applies here, okay. Uh, for the the this uh, this I right, okay, it's, it includes the S six and and S seven, and in this case, uh, the left endpoint of S seven will be used as the X mid here, and this actually uh, um, you know you will find that the the, the, the left subtree and right subtree are both empty, so they are uh, uh, leaf nodes too. And then the, these two segments will all be included in here. So we will have L left and L right, okay? Something like this. So far so good, right? Okay. So we finish the discussion of the uh, construction. Okay, let's um, well let's let's talk about uh, this one uh, uh, um, the um, the query and uh, you know the the rest of the stuff later. Okay, let's take ten minutes break first, and let me fix the 
that typo. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I also changed a few slides to make it easier to understand. But um, uh, so you, in your handout, you may find that it's slightly different. But um, uh, if you, I mean, I will update the slides. Okay, I mean, in case you feel like this slide is better, but if you, if you already mark the change like uh, in in your in a slide that you 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 print out, that, that should be fine. Should, the the change is really minimal. Okay, it's not much. Okay.